The Viridiformis is a bacteria that's found in the ocean. Um, we are usually exposed to it uh, after eating raw shellfish, so we actually warn people with liver problems or cirrhosis to avoid eating raw shellfish. Um, other shellfish, such as shrimp and crabs, probably carry the bacteria as well. And so when people actually have wounds uh, and go swim in the ocean, if they're immunosuppressed, so if they don't have a normal immune system, can be predisposed to getting a skin infection from it. Uh, the skin infection can be severe enough that it will cause low blood pressure, uh, and in, in a way, uh, toxic shock syndrome, and potentially even a severe infection of the muscle and skin. I think uh, the lay public loves to use the word uh, or the phrase flesh-eating bacteria. From a medical standpoint, I think when I hear that, I think people mean that uh, their muscle or tissue or skin are dying sort in, in, in a way because circulation is being cut off. The t terminology for that is actually necrotizing fasciitis, which is a surgical emergency. It's because the infection is causing so much inflammation that it cuts off supply to the skin, to the muscle, and to the tissues that's affected. And it does carry a high mortality rate. It could be as high as 30 percent, even with treatment sometimes. Um, and necrotizing fasciitis um, can be caused by multiple bacteria. Um, and Vivir vulnificus is just one of them. So necrotizing fasciitis can occur as a result of Vivir vulnificus infection, okay? But it can also occur from group A strep infection, so the same bacteria that causes strep throat. Now necrotizing fasciitis from group A strep is actually relatively rare, one to two cases per year for 100,000 people. It doesn't mean that if you're immunosuppressed, right, and you have a wound in, and you go swim in the ocean that you'll come down with it. It's just that you are at, highest, at the highest risk, okay? So most people with normal immune system, and we have plenty of people who go out and swim in the ocean, even with cuts and they don't get sick from it. And even people with immunosuppressed uh, states, such as people with diabetes, uh, people who have cancer or known chemotherapy, not all of them will get sick, but it's just that they are more likely to get sick from this. It usually comes with signs and symptoms anyway, right? So pain, increased redness in the wound, and uh, fevers potentially. Then it just it gives you a signal to actually go seek medical care immediately, uh, especially if you're and uh, if you're one of the patients with immunosuppressed states. A special population, so patients with liver cirrhosis or um, uh, are, at, are vulnerable when they eat raw shellfish, such, especially in the summer months, um, because raw oysters will more likely have this bacteria in them and that uh, they are prone to get uh, infection because the liver actually serves as a filter in, in some ways. But unfortunately, if you have cirrhosis of the liver, it doesn't filter the bacteria that well, and then it can get into the bloodstream and cause a severe infection. For the most part, usually it's a salt water organism, brackish water potentially too, but usually in fresh water, it's not, Vivir vulnificus is usually not found in, uh, in fresh water. But there are also bacteria in fresh water, a bacteria called Aeromonas, can, that can actually cause necrotizing fasciitis as well. But this one is mostly found in, uh, in fresh water. I myself actually do not eat raw oysters at all. My advice to anyone probably is not to do it because not e even if you don't get sick, you can actually get diarrhea from it, from other bacteria that you can get from uh, raw oysters. Um, I know it's a delicacy for some people, but certainly if you have liver problems, uh, especially cirrhosis of the liver, you should definitely avoid it and, um, and cook it. Cooking, is, cooking it and killing the bacteria is not uh, an issue. It's just when it's raw and there's lots of uh, live bacteria in the oysters. I, I probably would say if, if you're talking about Vivir vulnificus in general, then it's 
such a rare event that when we hear about it in the news, it's one out of how many people that have been to the beach now since the beginning of summer. Um, so it's really a, a rare event, but again, as long as you know what the warning signs are of the wound that's getting worse, or that if you start feeling sick and you, know, and you had a wound and you went into the ocean, those are signs that you probably should seek medical attention.